More small business owners are feeling successful. That's according to the Hartford's fourth annual small business success story. Yet the majority of them continue to be risk averse and have to put a hold on hiring. Here to help us understand how the recession and the regulations continue to impact the way owners run their businesses, Gene Marks, a columnist and author and small business owner himself. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So why did the Hartford conduct this study? What's going on here? Well, the Hartford themselves, a big insurance company, they've got 1.2 million small business customers uh, around the country. They've been around for 200 years. So for a few years, four years, uh, they've been doing the study to better understand their customer base and better understand small business. So what they learn, we learn, and that's a good thing. Good. So what's the general feeling among small business owners, and I guess what's contributing to it? Well, you know, it, it's interesting. So I'm a small business owner myself. I have 10 employees. So a lot of the stuff that I found in the survey were very consistent with my own feelings. Um, 77% of the small business owners that were surveyed by the Hartford found that they feel themselves successful, which is a good thing. Now, there's different people have different definitions of success, but that's a very, very good thing. It's a very a high number of small business owners feeling themselves successful. But on the downside, even though 77% feel they're successful, two-thirds or 67% of those that were surveyed did not hire anybody in the past year, uh, which is an indication that small business owners, while they're still feeling pretty good about themselves, they're not really ready to take those risks and make investments in new employees. That's not a really good sign for the economy, and we're kind of hoping that changes in 2015. Yeah, gee, I'm a small business owner myself, and you're right, that next step, growing your business and hiring, uh, it's important, but why is small business, uh, in particular, uh, hiring important to the economy? Yeah, I mean, well, like you got to feel this yourself as a small business owner. I mean, you know that, um, I mean, small businesses themselves, like you and me, uh, we employ 50% of the people in this country. Um, we are responsible for 75% of new jobs that are added every year. So as you grow and as I grow, as your viewers grow that are running small businesses, that's a huge impact on the U.S. economy. But you're right. I mean, a lot of business owners like ourselves are feeling a little conservative. Uh, the, the study itself actually showed that 55% of the business owners that were surveyed feel themselves are more financially conservative than they were since the recession. It's like we learned a lot from the recession. We're not apt to spend the money uh, because we're, we're concerned about doing that. We're not growing at a huge pace. And I think that's a, a big thing that's going on right now is that the economy itself is only growing at a 2 to 3% rate, which is fine, but not great and not good enough for, for us, you know, business owners, to go out and start hiring a lot more people. Yeah. And that's what the survey itself showed. Yeah, but the small businesses, I mean, to get to that next level, you've got to take that risk to hire. But what trends are you seeing in access to capital? Because that's, that's also critical for small yeah. business owners. Yeah, it's actually good news. I mean, you know, you know, business owners now, by a great majority in the survey, in this Hartford survey, feel that they, uh, are, they're, it's more easy for them to obtain capital. They're feeling more confident about obtaining comp, uh, capital than they ever were before. So that's really a good thing. What's also really interesting, though, is that 31% of them are getting their money from commercial you know, sources like banks, traditional sure. stuff. But 36% of small business owners are now getting their capital from personal sources, from right. their own savings or retirement accounts or friends or family. Uh, and that's an interesting trend. It's like uh, business owners themselves, are they'd rather do it on their own without having to rely on a bank if they can avoid it. Yeah, Gene, real quick, I want to get to this topic, a hot topic around here uh, as well as around the country. Mm -hmm. Small business owners, are they supportive of the proposed federal minimum wage increase? So what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, first of all, you know, it, it's a big issue. If you're running a very small company, a little franchise, I mean, a, an increase in the minimum wage is a big impact on your profits. But the Hartford study found that 66% of small business owners support an increase in the minimum wage. Not only that, but 81% of them that are employing hourly workers, they're already paying more than the minimum wage. So although it's a tough issue and some business owners can really be affected by it, for the most part, the great majority of business owners around the country would support an increase in the national minimum wage. So we'll see how that plays out in Washington next year. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. A website with more information, Jeannie? Sure. Uh, the Hartford.com forward slash success study. It's like all the information you want about the study. If you're running a business, it's great stuff. If you're studying small businesses, you'll get a lot of really good yeah, information. I'll definitely stop by that website. Gene, thanks for your time this morning. Great. Thanks, Mike. Take care. All right. You too. Mary, over to you.